All right, I'm back after that. Let's go ahead and hunt this uh, Hulu Yaku, the goofiest little critter. Uh, ooh, where was that animate seed? I need that. Is it up there? I think it's probably up above me. Uh, all right, so this is where now we're starting, obviously, getting into the tree. Uh, and this is where things get a little weird, because you can do all this climbing and stuff like that. Like there's this, this tendril you can climb that goes straight up. Uh, there's also a vine right there you can just jump to, but, like, sometimes it's, it's really finicky. Sometimes you have no problem jumping from vine to vine. Other times it's not easy to do. <laughs> yeah, it gets really, really weird. Uh, but anyways, we need to look for this. down there. Flame nut. And, oh, there's the Advent Seed. Need that. That's for it makes a really strong potion. It's a dead end, apparently. Yeah, the jumping physics make no sense. <laughs> Sounded like the Kulu Yaku. I guess it wasn't. Yeah, so right now I'm just kind of looking for footprints. That he was right here. So I mean, it's not like other video games where suddenly he just disappears and teleports to another area, and you gotta hunt him down to find him. No, he was right here. So. monster I'm tracking will leave soon. It's probably the Great, or the Anginath, because that was the only one I was really hunting. Or somewhat hunting. So that might, might be another reason why you would leave the, you would leave the expedition. Uh, maybe the Kuluyaku runs away. I didn't even think about that. If he runs away, you can't exactly hunt him anymore. Oh, moss wine. Uh, you can ride these guys and they take you to stuff. Uh, I'm gonna kill it. There we go. Uh, if you can ride one of them, and they, uh, take you to groups, large groups of, like, mushrooms and stuff like that. Um, he was actually trying, he was actually leading into that room I was just in where there was a large group of mushrooms. Uh, so that was why I killed him. Uh, because you also need them for, uh, bounty later. So I figured I'd just go ahead and kill him and get it out of the way. I am having a hard time hunting this Kulu Yaku. Why can't... Oh, that's weird. It's a bone pile, but I cannot harvest it. Let's just try going straight up. Yeah, see, so this is where it jumped up. Yeah, so we should have came out right here. I'm not seeing any footprints or nothing. Don't tell me I'm going to have to leave and come back. I might have to. Man. I can't harvest any of these bone piles either. What's going on? Did something happened when I was taking a leak? I think there's Grimlikin traces nearby. Oh, 
since we're here, is this the, actually this might be the right path? Because I have a vague idea of where the uh, where the Kuluyaku's nest is. Here, let's see the crafting. Am I? Yeah, why am I not auto crafting these mega potions? Yeah, let's go ahead and craft these free up some inventory space. Uh auto craft. Yeah, why was I not crafting those mega potions? There we go. Okay, so th yeah, it, the game's acting a little odd. It's doing some things that it shouldn't be doing. Like, it should have been crafting those potions right away, and it wasn't. I don't know why. I had it set up to craft them. I had the resources to craft them. There was no reason it shouldn't craft them. I think this is the way towards where the Kuluyaku nest is. Be there, but... <coughs> Hopefully they'll give me better chances of finding him. Unless he left the area. Oh, there he is! I didn't realize he was showing up on my, on my map. You can fast travel back to camp simply by selecting it from the wildlife map. I didn't realize it was I didn't realize he was on, on my map and it would let me just hunt him. Son of a I'm wasting all this time. Turn, turn, turn. So now I'm in a bit of a hurry because I'm worried he's going to run away. Why can't I not jump down? Why won't you let me jump down? Oh, I have to hit circle. Okay. Yeah, that, uh, sort, I forgot about that. Certain spots, you can't just jump down. You have to actually hit a button. Like, uh... Normally you can just run off the edge and it won't let you in certain areas for some reason. Here we go. Dude, y'all need to back up. Okay. I don't know why he stopped jumping from vine to vine. Here we go. There you are. All right, let's follow you first for a minute. Get the uh, hunting thing up. Now the cool. Now most of these hunters, or mo hunters, most of these monsters have like little gimmicks. Uh, and once you figure out their gimmick, they make usually makes them a lot easier. Uh, like for instance, the Kulu Yaku likes to pick things up. You know, use them as a shield. So you have to carry uh, items for your like your your slinger or whatever. You have to carry those kinds of items, and when he when he holds it up, you got to shoot him in the face, and it makes him drop it. And you can also there's you also have a chance of stunning him. Stamina's low, I didn't even check that. If you're clever, you can use the slinger to distract the enemies. Why didn't he knock down? It must have the wrong ammo.
wrong button. But that worked. Softened up. All right, he dropped an item, so I need to pick that up real quick. Also, need to go ahead and sharpen my weapon, then store that energy. that away and let's give chase uh, antidote Ooh, wiggly itchy oh and oh, I don't have any easy rations that's right you guys are loud yeah, my stamina is a little low but it's fine There you are. Wrong button. Okay. Dodge their attacks. Go. Yeah, I got dazed. Taking hits like that repeatedly will stun Ooh. you, meaning you won't be able to move. Yeah. <laughs> You've mounted the monster. Now's your chance to topple it. Yeah, so when you mount them like this, if you look at your radar, it'll flash red. You have to hit R2 during those times, or else it burns up a lot of stamina and it'll knock you off. But then if you can do it long enough, you can do a super discharge attack. Okay, it's down. Now's your chance to get in there and tear it up. Wasted it. Missed him with that super attack. Man. Alright, well, here we go. Piercing pod. That'll definitely mess him up if he tries to use a rock to block me. There we go. Some more material. And let's go ahead and hit the wet zone. All right, give chase. Gather up these uh, things. Come on, sprint. I think there's a wiggly itchy over here. I need one. So my stamina is low. He's not gonna. He's not gonna live too much longer. So I'm not gonna end up getting any Jagras like I was hoping, but it's fine. So he has a skull now, so if I have him right now, if I wanted to. I'm not going to worry about that for the moment. Clofurns for uh, guns. 
So I've been lucky, I haven't come across the Anjanath yet. Oops, I, I just said I don't need that. Running away again? Why didn't he just... Alright. I don't know why he's running away again. Try to use that L2 attack. And he ran away again. Come on, no, I want the footprint. Great Jaguar. This is dumb. Dodge their attacks. Don't forget you can guard too. That swipe coming, good to get out of there. I do need up. Oh, oh no. Oh no. That's what I was trying to do. Get down. Get down. That's the engine app. He is nasty. Oh, he's coming for me. Run away. Run away. Just run. Keep your distance and watch for a safe. 
I lost all my... Okay. Don't run away, you dick. Fight me! Come here. Come here. I'm just trying to kill you. Kill you! Fuck. Oh, Where are you going, George? Oh, ooh. He left. Sweet. Close to getting uh, this. Uh, uh, what the hell are you? There we go. You. Great Anginath or whatever. Not Great Anginath. Jaguars. Do not tell me you are running away again. I have no idea what I just did. That was a combo. Kind of wasted it, which is a shame. Well done to to is he dead? Yes, he is. Sweet. So now we can go back to hunting the Yuluakuluyaku. We got the Great Jagger's hide and a Great Jagger's mane. And another Great Jagger's mane. So, like I said, not great. I'm not going to get that. I don't think that was enough to do for anything, really. But. Uh, so yeah, you said that as you play, when you do these expeditions, it's one thing you gotta watch out for is uh, your health, your stamina, and everything will start or will start permanently dropping. Uh, because I've been playing for so long, my stamina is getting really low, so I can barely sprint, uh, dodging and stuff like that. I can do it less. That's when she mentioned use your uh, red pit or your cooking spit. Uh, It won't let me use my barbecue spit. Why? Oh, I don't have any meat on me. That's why. Yeah, I'd have to stop and uh, hunt some creatures real quick. Some small creatures, nothing bad, or nothing challenging, to actually get some uh, meat so that I can cook it. The other thing you can do is the oven roast, which I talked about before, and I should be doing that a little bit. But I haven't been. Because if you had that meat, you could just use that instead of having to worry about cooking anything. Another spider web. Need them webs. Flash bug. Doodles. Nice. This little cave section right here is nice. You can get all sorts of stuff in here. right up here. Let's just go ahead and follow him. He's on the run. He's not attacking. Yep, I see him. You don't need to zoom in like that. Ooh, doodles. He's actually heading to his nest, I think. Yep, here we go. 
Alright, I'm not gonna do anything fancy, just end it. Map so we can go home. Got a cool Yaku hide. Come on, what else? Scale. Plume. We got a bunch of doodles right there. We're going to definitely do that first. And because it's an expedition, we don't have to worry about time limit or anything. But again, because it's an expedition, we didn't get that many rewards. So I doubt I can actually do anything with the cool Yaku parts I got. But it's better than nothing. So there we go. I was able to get the Great Jagras and the cool Yaku. So now let's, uh, run button. Turn from expedition. Yeah, like I said, the Kuliaku is not hard. He's a goofy little thing. Uh, I think I had the wrong slingering ammo, but when he holds, he, at one point he just stands there and holds the rock in front of his face. If you shoot him in the face, you're supposed to make him drop it. Uh, the Kuluyaku is also really easy to mount using the Clutch Claw. Uh, whenever he like blocks with the sh with the rock, you can mount him and then do some damage to his body parts and stuff. I probably could have gotten a lot more off of him if I actually used my Clutch Claw. Using the Clutch Claw is really important. It really makes fighting some of these guys or monsters a lot easier. You just gotta be careful about the timing because if you do it at the wrong time, when they do an attack, It'll throw you from them, and you still take full damage from the attack. So you just gotta be careful about when you do it, is all. But we have, I was able to break his beak, so I got that. Uh, the plume, the great jagger's hide, mane, uh, bones, scale, Kuluyaku scale, Kuluyaku hide, and that's it. So there we go, got some decent stuff. Like I said, not enough to really do anything with, but we got some stuff. Level up a bunch of them, nice. There we go. So now when we go back, we should be able to talk to the researchers, turn in some of those bounties, and they should open up a new camp because we took care of the Kuluyaku. Yeah, because I think that if you stop and go back, they just give you a bounty or an investigation or whatever to hunt the Kuluyaku. So, if, like I said, if you had gone back, you probably would have gotten better rewards for hunting it. But, I mean, you can, you can do it right there on the spot. There's nothing wrong with that. Thanks for making sure the campsite is safe. We went ahead and got the camp all set up. It's yours to use as you like. Don't let me down. Now that I know what we're made of, Fiverr. No, what you're made of, Fiverr. I hope I can talk to you, or talk you into taking jobs for more, more often. And we got to talk to her and turn in those other missions too. Okay, are you gonna let me talk to her? Why? I have something special just Oh, that's for right. You. Yeah, I was looking at her, but it, all three of them you can talk to. It doesn't matter. You just walk them in the middle of them. Uh, now that I have your attention, this is special. And that job is to get us an ample supply of mega potions. 100 recaliber, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we already have this done. Uh, Come back soon. It's just trying to teach you about crafting. Magnifique. Yeah, I already crafted a bunch of mega potions, so that's done. First Barbarian Print. I don't know what that's for. Got Eel. Oh, these are for those other bounties. A 
It does gather mushrooms, gather from insects. New bounties are available. Complete two quests in the ancient forest. Complete three quests. In. Let's do the ancient forest three quest and the two quests because those give you. Oh. Yeah, I'll do the large monster hunt. Yeah, so I need more bone piles. I didn't get any bone piles. Crap, I really need to do that. And then, oh, wait a minute. Did I have any deliveries? Oh, I don't think that's come up yet, actually. Yeah, so some of the missions uh, require you to gather stuff as you go. Oh, yeah, like the one she just gave us for the Mega Potion. I didn't actually turn that one in. You have to go to the uh, delivery option to complete them. Uh, if you don't, it, will, it won't count as complete, obviously. So there we go. And then, ah, uh, crap. One last thing since we're here. This is where you get the the investigations, which is something I've mentioned briefly, but we haven't I haven't gone into. Uh, investigations are kind of like missions. These are the ones that are limited. Uh, but they also increase your rewards. So if you want to hunt a great Jagras for resources, you want to do it on the... or any monster, not just a great Jagras. I just said it because it was there. But you want to do these investigations. These give you the most rewards. Uh, or not the most, but you, you have a, a really high chance of getting good rewards. Because uh, you saw when I just did the hunt, I got, what, one great good Jagras main and one claw, and that was it. Like if I do this, I could have gotten both of those. Plus, I was guaranteed to get two other rewards uh, from the Great Jogger. So, it would have been more effective just to do this. Um, and, you, and you can also see that right now I'm on mission number one. It's two-star. Hunt Great Jogger. It shows the reward. That's uh, two silver rewards. Then it says left five. Like I said, they're limited. You can only do them so many times. Once you complete it, once you do all that mission five times, it's gone. You can't do it anymore. So you want to make those uh, missions count. That's why I also save the vouchers for this. Because you can use the vouchers on these missions. You're already guaranteed to get increased rewards. Using the voucher just increases those rewards even more. Uh, that's why you save the, yeah, save the vouchers for these. Uh, but you don't get just one of the Great Jagras hunt. You can see right below it, there's a, there's a capture of the Great Jagras. Right below that, there's a hunt. There's one, two, there's three more hunt Great Jagras, and they all have increased rewards. Um, a bronze, a silver, a gold, two silver, bronze, and two silver, three silver. So you get, oh, and another capture. There's two more silver. Uh, there's another one down here, bronze and a silver. Uh, and this one's eight. You can do it eight times. So there's plenty of missions to do it. You really shouldn't run out if you if you need to craft uh, or if you need more of these investigations to help speed up your crafting and you're running out and you're relying on your friends or whatever to help you you might want to think about how you're doing them because it sounds like you're not doing them right because you can do this one five times you're guaranteed to get two rewards so or two silver rank rewards that's 10 guaranteed rewards plus on top of the stuff you can carve break off during the fight you can get extra main scale the tail the claws that you got that can break off during the hunt uh so like doing this hunt two times maybe three times alone should be enough to craft uh a full armor set and the weapon so now i understand there's dozens of weapons so you want, might want to have multiple weapons and stuff like that but if you go through all of these, like well, that's almost eight missions right here that you can do five at least five times each. If you go through all of these and you're still trying to craft more, you might yeah you, you need to think about how you're doing it because you might be wasting resources and just making things harder on yourself. So, but anyways, uh, to actually do these missions because you can't, you have to accept them and then you have to go to the hunting board or the uh, handler to actually do them. So to accept them. Just click on it, you see, and that's now checked. It's now checked. I'm just gonna go ahead and select a bunch of these. And then that, that, and these nine missions, that's not even all of them. Uh, as you go through, as you come across more monsters and stuff like that, as you increase your rank, 
uh, your hunter rank and your research rank that will unlock these missions. It's one of the reasons why sometimes when you're hunting a monster, if you find them and they don't aggro, just follow them and gather their uh, markings, footprints and stuff, because it'll increase your uh, research rank. Increasing your research rank is what opens up these investigations. So you really, really want to do those, or do that, and it's also why you want to come over and talk to this guy to actually increase those ranks. Come on. Yeah, increased uh, Anjanath, Great Jagras, and Kuluyaku. See the research levels for him went up to two, one. Uh, the guidance right now that they guides me to the next track and stuff. Um, you see with the Great Jagras, now it shows the rewards. Uh, it shows the carbs. It shows the rewards for capture. Um, it shows where you have a higher chance of getting the, where you have the best chance of getting those rewards. Like if you want the main, you need to go for the head. If you want the hide, you need to go for the chest. Uh, things like that. I still haven't broken off his tail. I keep not going for the tail because I need the, the main more. Um, but now it has the, the Kuluyaku on here and everything. It shows its physiology and what he's weak to and stuff. I only broke his head <clears throat> and I damaged his arm, but, oops, uh, you know, it shows all, but his leg can be broken, his tail, like I said, almost every, almost every creature, their tails can be cut off. Um, Pukki Pukki, Anjanath, I don't know why those came. That's odd. I thought they usually didn't tell you until you actually fought them. But yeah, it already has his physiology up. So. And then, I wonder if... Did it? Was my thank research you, level high you. enough and I just did not upgrade it? Yeah, he's... Oh wait. Wrong button. Yeah, no. Okay, so yeah, there's... Yeah, but yeah, it's like I said, just as you go, you, you'll get more of them and stuff like that. Uh, <clears throat> just keep increasing that rank. Um, somebody up there needs to talk to us, so let's go up top to the canteen. We got another mission. This guy's lazy. Working hard? Uh, Fiverr bro. Hey, working hard. What's that? You heard me mumbling? Yeah, the chef asked me to rustle up some greens for him. I've still got so much eating to do. Well, are you serious? You'll go out Good and get luck. it for me? Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Fiverr's got to look out for each other, eh? Real well, here are the details. Good luck. That's what he wants me to go get. Which, I killed that moss wine, uh, so I might be able to just straight turn that one in. Because it should be a delivery mission. Now some, I think I mentioned it before, where some of them, uh, there's certain things you can like hunt or gather, but you won't actually get anything besides research points. The moss wine might be like that. It might be that I can't gather his hide until I... Oh, nope, there it goes. Yeah. Done. And that increases my, that should, that will affect your, uh canteen as well. You want to do those canteen missions as soon as they pop up because they all uh, increase the canteen. So, wait a minute, did I just see more missions? Or more people to talk to? Yeah, let's talk to the field team leader. Thanks keeping you busy. So, whatever, you got things... Have you gotten used to how things work around here? If you ever find yourself struggling out there on your own, don't be afraid to send up the SOS player. Yeah, other people can come help. I don't care about the SOS player. It'll make you a better hunter. No. Uh, it'll make the hunt easier, but not won't make you a better hunter. Now, the, uh, yeah, when it, I haven't talked about multiplayer yet, but you gotta be careful with multiplayer. Uh, when it says faint three times, that applies to your whole team. Uh, they all have a shared faint count. So if you rush in and with uh, unexperienced players that uh, aren't prepared and stuff, and they get in like two of them get wiped out within like a minute, that was two feints. So if you're going up against a tough hunt and two people get knocked out almost immediately, that means you can only faint one more time, and if you do, you lose. Uh, also, you gotta be careful and make sure people 
like understand how or what they're doing and what their role is in the hunt. Um, I'm not usually not a fan of PvP, and in this game I'm, a, I'm exceptionally not a fan of PvP because if you're trying to capture a monster, and if that's your investigation, that's your mission, you need to capture the monster, if they kill the monster, you fail the mission. You can still get resources, I think, but you fail. So if you had a voucher or whatever, that, that you lose, that that's a fail. You don't get the reward for it and stuff. Um, or if you're specifically trying to carve it to get a resource, they can capture it. Uh, it's not to mention there is friendly fire. Uh, certain weapons, I think the charge blade is one, where some of the attacks actually hit your partner. You'll do damage and you'll send them flying. So people need to know how they're how to use their weapon, where to stand, what to aim for and stuff. Like, you don't want a guy with a charge blade, like me, I, I, I play pretty wild because it's just me. I don't need to worry about hurting anybody. But you don't want somebody like me on your team doing their all-out charge swing attack with everybody around, and I send everybody flying and stun them and do electrical damage or, or elemental damage to them and stuff like that. Like, yeah, you just don't want that happening. You want me to call out and be like, hey, back off, and have everybody fall back, and then I do my attack. Like, it, it requires actual communication and teamwork. You can't go in... You can play with randoms, and, and it can work, but it can also just screw you over. So you just gotta be careful when you're playing multiplayer. You're better off playing with friends or having a mic so you can actually communicate than just playing silently with randoms. Done well. Nice work clearing out the camp. I knew you'd come through. Now we're finally ready. All right, Hunter, Pookie Pookie Hunt is on. Once you've hunted the target, the scholars will be able to get a closer look at, the, at that evidence you found. I cannot stress enough how vital taking out that Pookie Pookie is for the commission. This could be the break we've been waiting We're for. We're the ones to get it done. Good luck and be careful. The fifth has an urgent mission. Partner, you'd better come see me. All right, so that's going to wrap hey up there. this episode. Uh, this one ended up being a lot longer than I thought it would be, but eh, it happens. Uh, finally starting to really get kind of into the meat of the game, starting to get more hunts and stuff like that, investigations are opening up, uh, crafting is starting to open up. Let's go up to the, uh, armor real quick to see if, uh, excuse me, I can craft that next weapon. Ooh, Harper. Alright, uh, upgrade. Oh, I need one more scale. Get off screen. Uh, so that I can finish that up because... I had a brain fart for a sec. Oh, yeah, I'll put up Kulu Yaku's armor slot. Yeah, because I still need more... I need a lot more scales. Uh... I still need a lot more main too, because I think I need a main just for the weapon, and just crafting these legs, I need three main. So, yeah, this and it also needs two scales. This needs two shark claws. Oh, that's Jagras scale, and okay, so we need to hunt some Jagras too while I'm hunting the great Jagras. So yeah, I'll probably do that in a random side mission. Let's go ahead and craft what I can for the Kulu Yaku. A lot of these armor sets probably not even gonna. Oh, I did not mean to equip it. Oh well. Probably not even gonna use, uh, but I just like to have them just because I like to have them. Uh, not go there. Change equipment. Hunter. Headpiece. What is that? Oh, it's a guardian one. Bone helm. There we go. All right, got a little bit of armor, and that's about it. Uh, like I said, I think I'm doing the, the investigation off screen. Once I start actually uploading these, I might start like do like mass. Uh, I might stream and then do like just a bunch of investigations all at once. Because um, some people, you know, they, they enjoy seeing the hunts and everything like that. And if anybody actually watches this and actually wants to hang out, 
uh, and stuff like that. That'd be awesome. But that's going to wrap up this episode finally. So I'll see you next time.